Lambert and Summit because random will give us something stupid and oh, we're going to get good luck aren't we? Vote random oh, quick. On. Okay now we could vote Summit again if you want. <laughs> this is tactical game this- oh quick vote random! Oh. <laughs> 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 just leave it on random. Yeah. Oh, we got Arsenal. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope you enjoyed that intro at the start as well. This um, that stupid moment had me and my friend laughing for a long time, uh, and it kind of leads on to what I'll, kind of what I want to talk about in this video, which is. How to become a better player at Black Ops 4. Now my video is going to be a bit tailored towards sniping because that's what I do but some of it you'll be able to take away no matter what type of playstyle you have in Black Ops 4. So if you watch my last video which was the sniping tips I kind of spoke about practicing with Bart's, watching Sprat's video, going into multiplayer and practicing there this one's kind of leading on from that from point of view of a sniper again like I did last time so what I'd start off by saying is what is your goal when it comes to playing Black Ops 4 as a sniper for me it's getting content so I try and go for some clips trying to get content that you guys would want to watch is that your goal is it to be a play to win type of sniper in which case you want to play passive really nobody likes it but if you're playing a sniper and you want to play to win you got to play passive because you get picks and allow your teammates to push up but i go for clips so which i'm yet to hit proper clips by the way but i'm working towards it you see some in the next video and kind of in this video and um, proper clips like quads and things like that but if that's what you're going for there's a couple of things you want to take into account to help you become better which is if you are going for clips you kind of only want that in the back of your mind don't go into games thinking i need a quad i need a quad i need a five on because it just puts pressure on yourself what you want to do join up with some of your friends play at a time when you're relaxed and you've you don't have to jump off straight away um i've found when i play with friends it motivates me a bit more because i want to get you know best play of the game while my friends are watching so that helps and just aim to have a good time like the intro of my video have a laugh with your friends you know and just go for good gameplay if you go for good gameplay you never know the clips will just happen it's happened to me plenty of times i'm just having a laugh with my friends and before i know it my thumbs are moving and kills are just happening <laughs> and i get a quad or something like that so if you're going for clips it's kind of a mental thing I, stay relaxed go for good gameplay don't go for clips you'll put too much pressure on yourself the other thing is rage quitting i think rage quitting is actually a good thing because if you're raging the last thing you want to do is keep playing because you're just going to keep raging um, and your gameplay is going to get worse and you're going to give yourself a headache so if you've got some bad games and you're on like a consecutive run of bad games and you find yourself raging the moment you feel like that you need to just stop turn off the PlayStation or play a different game that doesn't cause you to rage and just come back to it later on. You'll find in the long run it will help you a lot more. You might want to think, no, I've not hit a clip, I need to keep playing until I hit a clip. That's not what you want to do. As soon as you start raging, turn that PlayStation off or turn that game off. Come back to it another time once you've calmed down. Like I said, the main thing is if you're going for clips as a sniper, which is what this video is about, have it in the back of your mind the main thing should be play with friends if you've got time to don't play at a time when you've got to jump off straight away play for good gameplay and just have some fun with it and the clips will come um, check out my earlier videos my first video to this one you see how much my sniping's improved in such a short space of time because i don't play much i play with friends and i have a laugh and i'm not always aiming for clips i'm just trying to snipe and become good at it so i work full time i don't have all the time to play this game but i am improving so hopefully this video helps hopefully you've enjoyed the gameplay in the back there's not much left of this uh, video so i'll just let the rest of it roll out if you have enjoyed then as usual don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm trying to get to 100 subs so if you can help that would be great 
like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video peace Can we just play normal TDM for the last one? Thank you.